quantum mechanics is pretty fascinating, but its inner workings are not as complicated to understand as you may think. Indeed, it is based on very standard mathematical concepts. See the mathematical prerequisites in the short accompanying video. So, as always, when you learn something new, the perhaps biggest challenge may be the feeling of uncertainty of where this journey of discovery may lead to, but this will dissipate on the way. If you base this journey on these videos here, and just in case it helps, here are some additional thoughts. So here are my four main tips. If you study this material in your own time, you can make use of the format of these videos. Compared to a traditional lecture, they are short and compact. I do not pause to see if people finish taking notes or look around if anyone has any questions. But you are in control. In particular, you can use the pause button, which is perfect whenever you'd like to consider a point in your own time or go through the steps of a calculation. And you can, of course, also rewind. And furthermore, if something remains unclear, even after some thought, just hit play and see whether something more useful or accessible comes along. If you have the time, supplement your study by other sources. This includes the lecture notes, which follow the material in basically the same order, but put into writing offer a different perspective. But this also goes for other sources, textbooks, Wikipedia articles and other courses on and offline. So you can recap, read ahead and read around. If you have the energy, solve problems. This is tremendously effective, in particular for quantum mechanics, which owes its prominence not just to its fascinating concepts, but arguably even more so to its practical value, which arises from the fact that you can use it to make accurate predictions. Set problems, problems from textbooks or self-identified problems, including just checking presented calculations by yourself or filling out missing steps. But of course, anything goes. As a matter of fact, one of the joys of scientific research is to see how easy it is to get to the border of knowledge. Often enough, you just have to dig a little deeper than others have done before. And even simple problems can offer surprising insights that lead the way to deeper ones. And finally, if you have the chance, talk to others. In my experience, and I hear this all the time from friends and colleagues, if you do not understand something, then discussing it with someone else goes a long way. And by this, I don't even mean asking questions. Simply putting your stumbling blocks into words clarifies a lot. And that works even if the person you talk to does not know the answers as well. I hope you enjoy this course.